In a great day for publishing, the world's first ever unauthorised autobiography went on sale in Australia today. The man who wrote it, the man who tried to stop it, and the man who leaked it are all the same man. <laughs> Julian Assange. <laughs> Chapter 42. I'd successfully earned the contempt of the fat cats in Washington. Or should I say, Borington. <laughs> Slow down, Julian, you'll hurt somebody. Permission to speak. It's about your memoirs. Ah, yes, the memoirs. I told you, I'm nearly finished. I just need to describe the Persian supermodels. What Persian supermodels? There were 300 of them. They broke into prison and broke me out, then flew me to safety in a helicopter. That never happened. They're called memoirs, not truth moirs. People expect a good story. Now call the publishers and tell them to cool their heels. Well, it's too late. They've published your memoirs without your permission. She devil! <laughs> Who do they think they are? Publishing someone's material without asking them first. Well, at least they've got something to publish. We haven't had a new leak in months. Ah! What? Who's that? Why, this is our new mole. He comes highly recommended. <laughs> they call him the Wombat. Bonjour, master. <laughs> Bonjour, master's female type friend, Lady. <laughs> Why do they call him the Wombat? Have you ever seen a Wombat climb the side of Parliament House, enter via the air conditioning unit and retrieve valuable files from the Prime Minister's cabinet? No. Exactly. Well, I don't trust him. Nor should you. He's been studying your private life as part of his training. What? Go on, Mr Wombat, and tell her what you know. You are 37 years old. <laughs> your favourite colour is terracotta, <laughs> mixed with a bit of puke. Sure, anyone could have... You have a tub of yoghurt in the back of your fridge that has turned into fromage. Your relationship is in a cesspool. You need marriage counselling at the relationship clinic just above the video EC. <laughs> Trouble in paradise, eh? Sounds like someone's got an appetite for Julian Pie. I'd really prefer it if you didn't sniff me. I'd really prefer it if you let me take you out to dinner tonight. I'm busy tonight. Is it true, Mr. Wombat? <laughs> no, it is not true. She's not busy tonight or any other night. She has nothing in her life. It is empty. Empty, empty. Until next Thursday. When she has a doctor's appointment for itchy skull. I, I don't mix work with pleasure. Very well. Mr Wombat, fire this woman. My pleasure, you're fired. What? Now will you come to dinner? You can't fire me. You wouldn't last a day. Try me. What's the pin code to the office? Mr Wombat, what's the pin code? Seven. <laughs> Is that it? Seven. It's a very simple one. Seven. Seven. What the wombat said. It's just one number. It would only take nine attempts no, to break it. No, 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 not the number. You're right at seven. Oh. S E V N N N. Seven. With the little wombat hand. Seven. Like the movie with the woman and the man. <laughs> Sound familiar? <laughs> I must go. I can smell fresh cables being printed in camp. Godspeed you, Mr. Wombat. Hurry back with scandals from the capital. Now, <laughs> where were we? Oh, I was there. Sorry about that. <laughs> May I please have my job back? Oh, I'll give you a job. Oh, what does that mean? What would you like it to mean? In fact, there is no door here. <laughs> Woman, show the wombat house. Does that mean I have my job back? Yes. We could use a female around here. But I've worked here for years. Well, you'll fit in just fine. <laughs> <laughs>